Hi everybody and welcome to 3D Print Tech Test Science. So, I have the BCN Sigma R16 here. Um, I was putting it into the bot farm or my bot closet as you can see here. And the whole idea was to uh, kind of upgrade it now before putting it in there and having it like a workhorse. So this was uh, provided by BCN and uh, Hawk 3D Proto back in 2016, I think, uh, a year ago, or a little bit more, uh, to do a review on, and you can check that out down below in the link or in this corner with the card. So we're over there, far over there. Um, so the plan is here, we have a few things. This, this body of you have already seen that I upgraded the, the feet here. So I have some vibration dampening feet, I think. The, they look good and it feels better to have some air underneath the machine. Yeah, we also need to fix some of this stuff. I'm just using tape for the clips because the clips are broken. And I'm just gonna print some new ones. And we got these two things here. We got the smart fan kit and we have the stepper driver kit. Uh, so the whole plan here is to like unbox these and just install them. There's a super nice guide on BCN's website, so there's not too much for me to show. I'm gonna show just a few steps and just We'll see what's in here and how we can change them and see how much quieter the machine actually is. So first off, we need to do some sort of baseline. So I'm gonna create a small Jiko that we can print and just measure the volumes with some sort of audiometers. Uh, it's not gonna be super scientific, but at least fairly scientific. And after that, uh, it's just gonna be start installing and then we're off to go. So uh, let's get cracking.
parts of me This time I'm just looking to part from you For you it's a red sign For me it's a right time Like green lights in the sky And the sun sets in the west and it goes by This time I'm gonna drive This life is a ride Make sure that you live it Make sure that you try I promise you I won't stop Not until I get by Take a minute, just breathe Take a second, don't cry Alright, so that took a little bit longer than I thought, but hey, I recorded it, I finished this video, I have a little bit too long hair, but yeah, it was a few weeks between the first clip and this one, but that's that's how life is. I actually had uh, ran into one issue, so I probably broke the cable myself, or there was something wrong with one of the chips, so we did some troubleshooting, uh, I had to go dig down here and uh, replace uh, one of the cables, and now it works great, so that was all it. And with that said, I think the improvements are pretty clear. It really is like the same level of noise or lack of noise as the R17. So if you have one of the R16 printers, you should really get this upgrade. And if you're not too technical yourself, well, you can maybe look at some of the clips, but it, I mean, I'm not gonna do a full guide for a few thousand of you that don't wanna build this yourself, but hopefully you enjoy a little bit of the tinkering clips and all that. So. Um, yeah again thank you so much for watching and make sure you check out the links down below and subscribe and make sure that you check out the following video so there's gonna be some interesting videos probably around here or maybe it's around here somewhere around there all right guys thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video bye